Breaking tonight, coronavirus cases at Nashville bars and restaurants may have been so low, so low the mayor's office and the Metro Health Department decided to keep it a secret. Emails between the mayor's senior advisor and the health department reveal only a partial picture, but what is in them is disturbing. Fox 17 News Dennis Ferrier has the story. The discussion involves the low number of COVID-19 cases coming out of bars and restaurants and most disturbingly, how to keep it from the public. On June 30th, contact tracing was giving a small view of coronavirus clusters. Construction and nursing homes causing problems, more than a thousand cases traced to each category. But bars and restaurants, a total of just 22 cases. Leslie Waller from the health department asked, quote, this isn't going to be publicly released, right? Just info for mayor's office? Correct. Not for public consumption, answers the mayor's senior advisor, Benjamin Eagles. One month later, the health department is asked point blank about the rumor that there are only 80 cases traced to bars and restaurants. Tennessean reporter Nate Rao asks, quote, The figure you gave of more than 80 does lead to a natural question if there have been over 20,000 positive cases of COVID-19 in Davidson and only 80 or so are traced to restaurants and bars. Doesn't that mean restaurants and bars aren't a very big problem? Metro Health Department spokesman Brian Todd asks five Metro Health Department officials the question, please advise how you recommend I respond. The name at the top of the response is clipped off, but you may find the answer unacceptable. Quote, my two cents, we have certainly refused to give counts per bar because those numbers are low per site. We could still release the total though, and then a response to the over 80 could be, quote, because that number is increasing all the time and we don't want to say a specific number. Neither the health department or the mayor's office would confirm the authenticity of the emails. But Councilman Steve Glover asked a Metro staff attorney to inquire. Here's the official answer. I was able to get verification from the mayor's office and the Department of Health that these emails are real, answered the staff attorney. Glover says this adds up to a cover-up. They're fabricating information. They've blown their entire credibility now, Dennis. It's gone. I don't trust a thing they say going forward. Nothing. Glover says he has been contacted by an endless stream of downtown bartenders, waitresses, and restaurant owners. Why would they not release these numbers? We raised taxes 34%, and we put literally hundreds and thousands of people out of work that are now worrying about losing their homes, their apartments, etc. And we did it off of false information and bogus data. That should be illegal. The mayor's office won't comment on these emails. And the question that brings up is why? I mean, they're just numbers. They're either true or not. And why? Why are you trying to keep them from everybody? I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.